What's going on everybody? Uh, it's been a minute since I made an update on this, so I wanted to keep everyone in the loop if you're curious, if you even care. Uh, probably watched my video if you're watching this one. You've probably seen the one about my wagon cooler radio build. Uh, I'm still acquiring parts. I got pretty much everything, as you can see here, and that box full of stuff. Um, all I'm really waiting on now is, let's see, I need a couple cutting boards, which I'll explain that in a minute. I need um, some various wiring, but I'll get that like as I go so I know what I need because I don't like buying extra stuff. Uh, let's see, cutting boards, wiring, little connectors. Uh, I'm waiting on the battery charger. It's an onboard battery charger, so it'll be like permanently mounted. It's my dog, she loves playing with everything. Get out of it. Get away from the battery. And then uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, just a couple little odds and ends. I got all the main stuff though now, finally, so I can make a video kind of showing what you uh, what you can expect to see. So uh, right off the bat, if you're building one of these and you're watching this like trying to get ideas, it's a great one to start with. Uh, this one is overkill though compared to a normal cooler. So uh, right off the bat, I got two sets of Polk DB691 six by nine speakers. Those are, I'm doing them all on one side. I'm gonna do them all right on the front right here because I figure, well, you know, the cooler will always be like on the side of the party or the get together. So, you know, having the sound come one way is the best for my situation at least. Uh, a lot of people do it, uh, you know, speakers on all sides, but that's your choice. I've even seen people do speakers on the, the sides, the top, the, the ends, whatever you call it. But uh, yeah, I got those speakers. I got a little uh, sub right here. I'm not sure if I'm going to throw that on. I'm going to see how it sounds with just the speakers. And then I'll decide, you know, after that, after I fine tune everything. But uh, it's a little 8 inch all in one. It's sealed. That's the sub and the amp and everything all built in one. And if I put that on there, that's going to be on the bottom, like under the cooler. Not inside, but under it. Uh, I got the amp right here for the speakers. It's a 1200 watt power acoustic Razor. The amp itself is literally like the size of my hand. All this extra space, it's just, I guess, for other box, other amps or something. Uh, here's the battery that's going to be running it all. It's a 29DC from Walmart, the Deep Cycle Marine. It is uh, 122 amp hours, which should ideally run this thing for at least 10 hours on very, very high volume. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and set the camera down so I can show you all the little big knacks. Okay, I got two giant fans here. These are uh, 120 millimeters. They're clear, but they got four blue LEDs in them, so the thing will glow really bright blue. One is going to be in the bottom, sucking cool air in, and then the other one's going to be on the side in the back, blowing the hot air out. So I'm always going to have you know, good air flow. Not definitely necessary. Uh, most people get away without having one, but I didn't want to risk it. You know, I didn't want to build it and then be like, okay, I got to take it apart and add two fans. Uh, let's get the box of goodies here. Be careful so I don't drop my camera or nothing. Okay, I got uh, just red and black wiring, just you know, for the lights and switches and all that good stuff. Uh, of course, you gotta have a bottle opener if you're gonna have a cooler. I got all this stuff on, uh, mostly on eBay, some of it on Amazon. This is a digital controller for the uh, fans. That way, on my other cooler, if you watch those videos, I got a switch to just turn the fan on and off. I wasn't really crazy about that because then, you know, you got to just, you got to open your, you know, open the cooler up, feel it, see if it's warm or whatever. This, I preset a temperature and then it just monitors it. You know, once it gets, say if I set it at like 100 degrees, once it hits 100 degrees, this is automatically going to kick those fans on. So that's really cool. I really like that. Um, these two things are the USB ports, I believe. Yep, these are the USB ports. It's a, a 1 amp and a 2.1 amp charging port. I'm going to have one inside the cooler and then one on the outside. You know, So if you got your phone inside, this can charge. If you got it outside, it can charge. So I got two of those. Uh, matching 12 volt outlets, you know, for like a cigarette lighter, or a, you know, like a phone charger, something like that, whatever, you know, if you got the car kind. Same exact thing, one inside, one outside. 
LEDs. These are white LEDs. These are uh, 12 inch strips. If you see here, it's got the easy open lid or the quick access hatch, whatever. This whole lid opens, but on this half is going to be where all the electronics are. So when you get a beer or pop, whatever, I don't want, you know, to have to open up this whole thing every time. So what's going to happen is I got two little, I got a, I'll show you later on, but when you open this hatch, you see right there, it's pretty dark in there. Uh, you know, I got lights on above me, so it's brighter than it would normally be. But there's, these lights are going to be mounted, you know, like on the sides or up here somewhere. So when you open this hatch, it's going to light up and it's going to be real bright. I'll show you those switches whenever I get to them in the box here. Um, here is a long, these are cool white by the way, so they're like the real crisp bluish white LEDs. Here is a long one meter strip, this is uh, three feet of warm white. This is going to go across the whole inside of the lid, like in here. So when I open it to, you know, like work on the electronics or something, it's going to, you know, light up the whole inside of the cooler. These are the uh, RGB LEDs, red, green, blue. That means they're color changing. It's kind of hard to tell from that strip. But this is uh, six feet of them. These are going to be on the bottom. You're not going to see them, but it's going to be like underglow, I guess. And they're uh, remote control. So that's that. This is a power adapter. And I believe that's the remote control in there as well. Uh, this thing is pretty sweet. I got this on eBay. I won a bid for like six bucks. It's a uh, like a it dances to the music like a graphic analyzer or whatever they're called. Like as the music goes, you know, it goes up and down to it. That's gonna go probably on the front or the back. I'm not sure yet. I gotta see where I got room. This is the drain spout from the cooler. As you can see, the back there that's where it would normally be. You know, you unscrew it, drain the ice out of the water, the melted ice. But that's going to be electronics back there now, so no drain spot back there. That's going to be repl replaced with a uh, AC outlet where I plug the extension cord in and then that's going to, that's, that extension cord will power the uh, onboard charger. I don't have the charger yet, I just ordered it today, but I do have the adapter. It's a NOCO GCP1 AC port plug. If that doesn't make sense, but I just said it'll make sense now. See, it's got a, this plug on the back. This is where the charger is going to plug into. This is, you know, resembles like plugging something into the wall. This is going to be on the outside of the cooler. When you open it up, there's a plug. So you plug the female end of the uh, extension cord onto this, and that's going to turn on the onboard charger. So like my old cooler, I had a separate charger where I'd have to plug it into the wall and then clip the clamps onto the battery terminals. That's all going to be built in on this one. Like I said, I'm going overboard and I am so excited to start building it. Well, let's see, I got RCAs for the radio, or, you know, for the 4 channel amp. There's a Bluetooth microphone from the radio as well. The radio I bought came with two remotes, so that's pretty cool, I guess, in case I lose one. This is another part I'm excited about. This is a wireless four-button switch, four channels. See that little thing slides up to keep it you know, locked. You got an antenna for real far range. And then this thing opens up. I don't have it. Okay, it works. You see that? I plug, you know, power it up and then plug all the stuff into it. Not sure what I'm gonna wire into that. I know there's gonna be some lights. Um, probably these bad boys. I got four inch LED bars. You know, like you see on an off road truck. These are four inch ones. I got two of them. I'm probably gonna have these mounted at the bottom so it just kind of, when I turn them on, it's gonna light up the whole area. I'm not sure if I'm gonna face them both on the same side or face, you know, like maybe angle them or something. I haven't figured that out. Uh, I got chrome, well, I guess like more of like aluminum valve stem caps for the tires. Here's the magnetic switches I was talking about for the uh, the lid to turn those lights on. The way it works is 
this basically is a switch. I mean, it is a switch, but you know where you just normally have like a you know click 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 turn it on and off. This is magnetic. So when these two are together, when these two are together, it's off. You know, there's no power going through it. Lights off. But when they split apart, when you know I open the lid, the lid lifts up. They're split apart. It opens up. And it uh, makes a contact on the inside and it turns that light on. These are pretty sweet. Awesome feature, you know, rather than having to flip a switch or something like that. Um, this is a digital thermometer. I know I got the little one that's uh, that controls the fans, but that's going to be hidden. So I got this one to match my voltmeter. It's just a little three digit blue LED thermometer. That's also this and this. This is a voltmeter, same thing you see. They're both, they look kind of different, but they're both light up blue. One is going to tell me the temperature, of, you know, the inside of the cooler where the electronics are. This one is going to tell me the battery voltage. And the way I'm going to wire them up is uh, with the big lid. So when I open the big lid to, you know, see the electronics, it's going to turn these on. So I don't have to have a switch or something. You know, always have them on. Got speaker wire for the 6x9s. Probably got way too much. And this is... Oh, this is the power adapter. I don't need that. That's for plugging it into the wall for the LEDs. I already showed you the big fans. And then here's the radio I got. Probably gonna have to back up here. It is a JVC KD X80BT. Uh, I really liked it. I got it pretty cheap. I got it for under a hundred bucks. Uh, there's no CD player, so it's really lightweight. It is still long though. This is kind of before they shortened the decks with no CD player. But uh, it's got subwoofer front and rear pre-outs, and they're I think six volt or five volt pre-outs, which I really liked. It's more powerful, put uh, less strain on the amp. But uh, I love the screen on it. Everything changes colors. You know, it's all user changeable. Real simple to use. And then. Uh, what I like about this one is it's got two USB ports. One of them, the reason it's got two though, is because one of them is this little Bluetooth adapter. So I can move this. I apologize about the background noise. But I can move this. I'm going to have this like up mounted in the lid so I'll get the most, uh, you know, the, the best distance, I guess. And then the reason I went with GVC is because I got this remote really cheap. The radio is going to be inside the cooler, so you know I don't want to have to open the cooler every single time I want to change the song or adjust the volume. This little remote is wireless, or not wireless, I'm sorry, it's waterproof, weatherproof. And it's got volume, skip tracks, change the source, turn it on and off, mute, all that good stuff. And this will be mounted on the outside with the speakers, and the speakers are waterproof as well. So that's pretty sweet. And then, uh, here's the amp, I'll show you that. A lot of stuff here, Jesus. This thing is tiny, it's awesome. See, I told you how small it was. It's 1200 watts. I believe it's, uh, I wanted one that matched the output of the speaker, so I believe it's 100 watts RMS at 4 ohms. So if I was able to wire them to 2 ohms, it would be more powerful, but they're 4 ohm speakers. You know, doing everything as basic as possible. Uh, that's it. This is the battery. This thing is gigantic. You can see how small that amp was compared to my hand. You see how big this battery is. It weighs a ton. But with these uh, the wagon axles, it's you can't even tell it's in there. And what's awesome about this battery is it's exactly as wide as the inside of the cooler. So once I slide it in there, I'm just going to have some Velcro at the bottom and it's not going anywhere. So I'm really excited about this. Uh, these lights... I have somewhere down here. I don't know if I'm gonna have them both right here, like you know, one right here, one over there, or if I'm gonna have like one facing this way and then I think one in the front would be cool, but I'm just not sure how useful it would be because if I'm walking with the cooler, you know, I'm gonna be in the front of it, so I'll be blocking the light. But uh, we will definitely see. I'm gonna hopefully start cutting some cutting into this thing today. I will definitely take tons of pictures and videos, and uh, I'm gonna link up in the description the website. It's called MotorboatYourself.com. 
It is an awesome website dedicated to cooler builds and any other kind of portable radios you can think of. Uh, a lot of people build them to float down the river, like for the, you know, you just float down the river all day with a ton of people and drink beer and all that. Uh, a lot of people build them like for their, you know, cars and all that stuff. Or not cars, I'm sorry, golf carts and like ATVs. Uh, those players, like those razors, those big kind of like off-road golf cart looking things. So I'm really excited about this one. This is going to be my first one that is going to still be usable as a cooler. And of course it's a wagon, so this thing is going to turn heads like crazy. So uh, definitely subscribe and follow my channel to uh, see the updates. I'm going to start measuring and cutting tonight. So a lot of pictures and videos will be coming in this past week, or this next week. Thanks for watching.